Oh my god, I'm just like so tired that I can't even reach my coffee. Everything changes. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here and welcome to another mod showcase. Warren, today we are going to be taking a look at the tea and coffee mod. Now, basically what this mod adds into your game, it basically adds in obviously tea and coffee. And you know, it's a pretty cool mod actually. It's very, very simple, but it's a very, very cool mod. The fact that it adds in tea and coffee to your game. Now, uh, here's what you're gonna need. Uh, like in, in your inventory, uh, you're gonna need some of these materials and um, yeah, so um, let's just quickly make a little farm here. And uh, oh geez, it's gonna need some water here. Hold on, there you go. And there you go. And that's good enough. That's good enough for a farm. And let me just put that there and put these here. Now, basically, uh, what I'm holding here is uh, uh, some coffee beans and tea seeds. And to get these two, you're just going to basically have to punch some grass to uh, either get one of these, you know, and all that good stuff. Now, uh, just like any other seed or, you know, in Minecraft and, uh, you know, all that good stuff, you just right click and that's pretty much how it looks like. And, oh, God. Some of them are growing already. Jeez. And so, yeah, th that's uh, the coffee. And these are the tea seeds, I believe. Tea seeds, yeah. These are the coffee beans, and these are the tea seeds. And so, yeah, that's pretty much how uh, how they look like while well, they're not fully grown. But let me just quickly uh, put those there. And uh, let's speed up the process real quick here. And just uh, put some uh, bone meal here. And as you can see, the coffee looks pretty good once it's bone mealed. Oh god, we're gonna need some more. And we're back. <laughs> so um, I got some more bone meal here, and uh, we're pretty much good to go. And we're just gonna grow the rest of these, and uh, we should be pretty much good to go. And so yeah, this is how it looks like when it's fully grown. You know, uh, it looks pretty cool actually. Not gonna lie. But, um, yeah, anyways, to, uh, harvest these things or to get these, uh, things to start making your coffee or tea, you can just punch them and you'll get, uh, uh, well, for the coffee, you'll get some more of these coffee, uh, coffee beans, which you'll be using a little later. So that's that for the coffee. Yeah, that's the coffee. And then, um... Uh, for the tea, you're gonna get some tea leaves, which kind of makes sense, you know, uh, for tea. And some more of these, uh, tea seeds as well. Now, uh, that's pretty much it for the farming part. And now, uh, we get to take a little closer look here on how, uh, this mod works. And interesting enough, uh, they, uh, only stack up to it. 36. I found that quite interesting. But, um, anyways, uh, as I said, this is a pretty cool mod. Uh, the fact that it adds in tea and coffee to your game. Alright, so, uh, first things first, you're gonna need an empty cup. And this is how you craft it. You need three clay in a V shaped formation type of thing in your crafting table, and then you'll get one empty cup. Now, this is how the empty cup looks like. Um, and uh, if you want to take a closer look at it, you place it on the ground like you like any other uh, block slash entity in Minecraft. Uh, but the thing is, uh, if I have to right click the ground with my cup, it will crash my game. And uh, I'm assuming that will most likely happen to you as well if you try out this mod. If you have to right click or if you wanted to place... Uh, a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a cup of water any of those cups and uh, you, you're, you might just end up uh, you know crashing so um, I wouldn't recommend that 
because uh, I'm assuming this is in progress, a work in progress, so, uh, yeah, anyways, as I said, this is a pretty cool mod, though, uh, anyways, so that's the cup, and, uh, you'll be needing or wanting some cups of water, and so basically, um, with their, with your cup, so let me just get my cup real quick, um, with your cup. Imagine this is a bucket and just scoop up some water and that's pretty much how it works and you'll get eventually a uh, cup of water just like that and so yeah anyways another thing you're gonna need in this mod is uh, the mortar and pestle and this is how you craft it you'll just need two iron ingots and uh, three stone just like that and uh, you'll get this mortar and pestle which is uh uh, pretty important for just the coffee specifically because the uh, coffee has a pretty uh, uh, big process well not super big process uh, I mean comparing to the the tea in the in this mod it's really like you know uh, kind of like a diff uh, big difference here but um, anyways so as you can see those are the crafting recipes uh, this is for the coffee You use coffee grounds in which I'll get to that in just a second cup of water in the middle and then coffee grounds and then uh, if you try and drink it by right uh, the, well, By placing it on the ground and then right clicking the cup itself. It'll give you speed two for eight minutes now This is the crafting recipe for the tea uh, It'll give you tea le uh, uh, using the tea leaves you've been given uh, just surround it with a cup of water and you'll get this full cup of tea and then you right same thing with The full cup of coffee you need to right uh, right click this, you know uh, Place it on the ground and right click it and you'll get Regeneration two for eight minutes. So that's pretty much how it works, but uh So yeah, anyways, let me just quickly uh, show you how uh, This works now um, in these furnaces you see we've got some uh, Roasted coffee beans and to get these uh, coffee beans Or uh, specifically these roasted coffee beans. You're basically gonna have to uh, basically just cook these uh, Coffee beans that you uh, got from uh, farming and you're gonna uh, Just basically, you know, just cook it and uh yeah, eventually it'll turn out to be a roasted coffee bean in the end. And uh, next thing you gotta do is you're gonna need your mortar and pestle. And uh, what you want to do is put the roasted coffee bean in your crafting table. And put your mortar and pestle in any way. It doesn't matter as long as they're both in the exact same uh, crafting table. Uh, you'll get this uh, coffee ground so if I quickly had to uh, you know get some of these coffee grounds you'll see that there will be a durability bar for this mortar and pestle so if I did the exact same thing for this other stack uh, as you can see the durability bar will go down and as you can see it broke it broke so yeah anyways if we had to quickly craft one real quick just like oh geez just like that, and there you go, we got our mortar and pestle, and uh, we just continue. Uh, eventually, we'll get to uh, two stacks of these coffee grounds, and uh, mortar and pestle would have that um, durability bar there. So yeah, anyways, uh, and then you know what to do, um, basically... Just like that, you'll get your full cup of coffee. Same thing with the tea. Uh, you'll need tea leaves surrounding cup of water, and then you'll get your full cup of coffee, uh, not coffee, full cup of tea. And as I said, you'll need to place these cups of coffee or tea, uh, in order to actually drink them. But as I said, uh, I think this is a work in progress because the fact that I kind of crash every once in a while, just because of, uh, I, I just right click the cup and I just crash, you know, so... Uh, but yeah, anyways, it gives you a cool, uh, speed effect for the coffee and a cool region effect for the tea for, like, eight minutes, you know? So, 
that's pretty much it for this mod. As I said, it's a very, very uh, simple mod. It's short, sweet, but uh, it's good. You know, if you're like a coffee or tea lover, then this mod would pretty much be the perfect mod for you. But um, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Feedback, suggest the law. suggestions are always greatly appreciated down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Greatly appreciate if you did. And if you want to go check out the mod and the map, there will be a link or links in the description below. If you want to go check them out and uh, check it out for yourselves and try it out and, you know, enjoy it. The good good stuff that this mod and map has to offer and so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys all later goodbye